Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Today is a get ready with me style autumn video because I really don't do my everyday makeup get ready with me and just a little chat because I haven't spoken to you guys like properly. All I do is like vlog and like don't really talk with you. So I've asked you guys on Instagram to ask me a few questions so it's a little bit of a Q&A at the same time because I just come back off my UK road trip. I will leave the link down below to my vlog from that. My voice is a little bit croaky, I don't know why. Normally it's like that in the morning. So we're going to put on some makeup together and we're just going to have like a nice little chat and just um, catch up really. So I've got some questions with me ready to go. I'm just going to clip my hair out of the way and we shall get started. So let's go. I don't really like wear a lot of makeup like on a day to day basis but like today I thought I will do my everyday like glam style makeup i feel like i'm missing something i am missing something it's in my bag oh i can't bother to get that sorry my life i normally like put it up in a bun but i just like can't bother for that today i don't know why but i'm really liking black at the moment autumn what are you doing to me also look how cute these scrunchies are do what you can see like all the colors all the autumn colors yeah so i did that uh, a primark call yesterday and they are featured in it so i'll leave that down below as well because that's definitely going to be up before this video so first question is Best vegan food, oh my god, I will tell you. I was gonna say like, oh that's a hard choice, but then like, I just had a Beyond Meat Burger, vegan burger in Bournemouth, oh my god guys. If you haven't tried Beyond Meat Burgers, they are incredible. They taste amazing and they're just, don't knock it till you try it. They're super expensive in the shop though, which is the most annoying thing. They're like five pound for two and I'm like, I ain't paying that unless it's in the reduced section. Because if you all know, I can be an absolute cheap scape also by the same time. So I'm just gonna put some Avent primer on and I'm just gonna go straight in with my, oh, do I do Hayley Beauty or do I do CC or BB cream? Cause I've got sent these from Herborium the other week and I haven't tried these out yet, so I might try that instead. But which one is the colour changing one? There's like a colour changing bucket. I think it's the CC cream. I don't normally wear CC cream, but We'll give it a go today, I suppose. What colour is it? Yeah, it's white. So I'll give this a go, see if this works. It comes out white. I'm not sure whether it, like, it adjusts to your skin or something. Because I had a colour corrector before. I'm sure I did. Do you want to see? Oh! Oh, it does. Oh, that's quite nice. Anyway, vegan food. That burger was absolutely insane. Oh, losing my uh, voice there. Yeah, this ain't my colour, you know. Nice little light bit of makeup today because I'm only going for a walk around because I'm having a family today. So I don't want to go too. What's it with me? This has gone really weird colour on this side. I'll fix it up in a moment. So, best vegan food. I keep repeating myself. I'm sorry, guys, because like, I sidetrack quite a lot, especially when I'm doing my makeup. So, that be Beyond Meat, Beyond Meat Burger is like the favourite thing right now. But if I was going to go for a vegetarian dish, my favourite thing is by corn. And I love, honestly, I'm telling you, if you've not tried the cottage pies from corn, they're amazing. Even if you're not a vegetarian, like, definitely try it. It's, it smells very meaty, and obviously it's not meaty. It's made of corn mints with mash on the top and then veg inside. That with a side of broccoli, amazing. It's just so good. Definitely try that out. You can get them in B&M and, is it the pound shop that does some? No, that's lasagna that they do in there. They do a lasagna, I don't really, I have never tried lasagna, I can't really say that like it when I've not tried it to be honest. Yeah, definitely try that if you've never tried that before. Next question is, from your road trip, which is a nice place to go? So we went to Bournemouth, Bath and Bristol and I think Bath was the nicest place. Obviously everyone has different tastes but Bath for me was the nicest place. Definitely going to go back for a weekend at some point because Adam's feet was really bad, the poor thing. She has a foot condition basically and his feet have been playing up a lot so we couldn't really walk too far because he'd be in too much pain so we thought once he's better we'll go back for a weekend to bath by the way the hills getting there are an absolute nightmare it was so scary my little Peugeot just about made it in second gear so yeah we definitely go back to bath because the royal crescent the circus well the royal crescent's nicer than the circus and then the roman baths and the pump room i really wanted to see and then the bath abbey and there's another bridge that I wanted to see we didn't really get to see in the end. We saw a glimpse of it as we drove past, but yeah, that was about it for Bath. And then we wanted to, we didn't really get to do all that. We only saw the Royal Crescent and the Circus and the Abbey. We didn't really go into the Roman Bath because it was busy and you had to pre-walk. And I was like, 
cry now, no thank you, so we'll do it when it's like a bit calmer. What are your skincare faves at the moment? Okay, so I don't really know if I've got any skincare favourites right now because I'm trying to use what I have. Like, I, I love the Glam Glow Glow Starter. That is amazing, but I haven't bought any more of their products because nowhere can I find that they're vegan or cruelty free, so I'm not going to bought any more of them products until they announce that they're going to go vegan and cruelty free so I'm not going to do that because I want to be more conscious of my products that I'm buying I'm literally dabbing away at this and I don't think it's making any difference so maybe look I've got a little bit of colour on my face you guys probably can't see it very well but yeah that's not too bad actually it's quite nice just for like a thin layout I really need to get this down a bit turtlenecks can feel like, like they're tricking me if I'm going to do like loads of eyeshadow I like to use a P. Louise base in the shade 2 rumour too but today i'm just going to put like light makeup on so it's not going to be like too out there so i'm just going to oh, no, we need to do concealer first we use a revolution concealing define concealer but anyway skincare favorites my skincare routine is basically like i said a glam glow glow starter in the morning and then in the evening i use the beautifully nourished moisturizer which is really nice and i think you can get it on is that amazon maybe maybe amazon and i use the lizzo you know the, the spritz what is it Oh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like a skin tonic, basically, that you spray onto your face. It's just a spritz version. Ver ver version? Version. Too early for me to speak. It's only like, it's only 10 o'clock. Well, oh, I love how I've got hair under my watch. Lovely. Oh, also, update. I forgot to tell you, I actually got an Apple Watch. This is Adam's old one. So it's only a Series 2, just to see how I get on with it. And you know what? I am not paying, like, £500 to get a new Apple Watch. Like, forget that. No literally 65 pound for this guys if you want a bargain get yourself on ebay get yourself a pre-owned apple watch just gotta reset it and it's all fine also with the skincare favorites i'm loving using eye drops the optrex brightening eyes one that they really help my eyes throughout lockdown because my eyes were getting so dry my nails gonna fall off and um, from looking at screens all day every day because i was working from home and like instagram and all this and filming so it was a bit much for my eyes so i got that and it really helped that's pretty much it and i use the clarins lip lip oil I love that as well. That's really nice. What is your favourite memory with me? Oh, so, you know what? It always pops into my head. Disneyland. Disneyland is like the best thing that we did. Like Disneyland was just so much fun, and I always want to go back. Like Sophie's just, she's so much fun when we go to Disneyland. She just, we both turn into children. It's just great. So that is one of my favourite memories. When we went to Disneyland together, especially the first time we went on. Oh, what was it? Thunder Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Yeah, that ride in um disneyland the first time she went on it she, <laughs> she had to hold on to her glasses whilst we whizzed through it oh it was, it was so funny it was just that's one of my favorite memories in disneyland what is your favorite restaurant oh everyone knows this we know it's the farmhouse in Coventry. i can't you know i can't say anything else because that's my favorite place because i love indian food what can i say what trends are you most excited about for autumn okay i don't really know because i don't really always follow the trends I just pick out what I like and, you know, wear it how I like, really. If it's anything, it'd probably be blazers because I'd like to get some more blazers because I really like the blazer trend. So maybe that. What has been your biggest challenge in 2020 and how have you overcame it? Okay, so probably changing jobs. Like, that was the scariest thing ever. Obviously, throughout a global pandemic, changing my job was, like, the scariest thing. But honestly, the best thing I could have done for my own mental health and it just made me so much happier just changing jobs it's just it's surprising how much you can get so down through a job and then you change it and it's like the best thing ever it really changes your mood and your mental well-being it's just the best thing so yeah probably that and finding myself like i've changed a hell of a lot throughout lockdown by the way i'm putting bronzer on my eyes i forgot to tell you with a morphe brush not really sure which one it is because it came with a nicer but yeah change within myself is the biggest thing like i've learned a lot about myself and how like i hate being cooped up in one place i just there's so many different things that I learned about myself that I can't even explain to you what. Just a lot of things I realised about myself throughout lockdown. What did you make of Bristol? Well, Maddie, I did like it, but we didn't have enough time there, I don't think. Because, well, the best thing we saw in Bristol was the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Oh my god, if you have not seen that, the view is incredible. You need to go and see it. It was the best end to our road trip. It's just such a gorgeous view. It's a shame it wasn't like a, a sunny day because it's really cloudy, but great quite enjoyed it we also went down to the harbour side that was really nice and had dinner down there but we ate in prezzo so it was like around the corner from the harbour side and that was a really nice meal actually and i brushed my eyebrows up i am going to put that back in there 
No, I'm not gonna put that back in there because I need that in a minute. I need it now actually. Where was your favorite place on the road trip? Like I said, Bath and seeing the Royal Crescent was probably not my favorite thing. Um, where else did we go? Where did we go for dinner? We went to the Cozy Club for dinner and I had that Beyond Meat Burger again the day after. So um, yeah, that was really nice. But the Royal Crescent in Bath was really nice. Also guys, I'm gonna do a blog post on how we did our road trip on a budget. It might be up by the time this video is up, it most likely is, so I'll leave it down below if you want to go check that out on how we did our road trip on a budget literally under 300 pound for our road trip to three different places yeah definitely go check that out if you want to do a road trip on a budget in the uk it is cheaper than you think where in the uk haven't you gone yet that you want to go um probably like canterbury and kent way and folkestone that's where i really want to go it's somewhere me and adam really wanted to go for a weekend which we haven't even done yet which we should have done but corona and probably scotland i've been to scotland but i can't remember where i went actually but it was a long time ago now and i had a very bad experience we will not go there and um, but yeah i'd like to go to edinburgh and um, wales i've been to wales like you know when you went to school you went to plaza dolly mark does, that, does anyone remember that god i didn't like that yeah probably those places and I have been to Cornwall before, but I'd like to go back to Cornwall because I just, I love the place. Fave makeup brand. Okay, this is hard. I don't actually know because I have so many different makeup brands. I can't really choose one. Okay, make, um, Morphe. Got to be Morphe, hasn't it? Because I did their Morphe hauls throughout lockdown and yeah, I think that says it all. Fave clothes brand, Primark. Primark all over. I just freaking love Primark. You guys know from my Primark hauls, I leave the link down below to my most recent one, which is my autumn one. And I'm just obsessed with it. They have like such good trends in there, such good fashion, and they're going more sus blah, 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 more sustainable, which is great. I think I'm putting a bit too much blusher on, but it's fine. By the way, I'm using the Sleek Contour Palette. Is it Contour Palette? Contouring a blush palette. And the highlighter in this is like my absolute favourite. What one item do you think every girl needs in her wardrobe? See, I always think mules, because they're literally my new favourite thing. But then I'm like... I don't know. Depends what time of the year. If we're going autumn, definitely a nice pair of over the knee boots, for sure. I have like four pairs of them. Oops. Um, we will not go there. Favourite veggie meals, like I said, the corn cottage pie, the Beyond Meat Burger is like my new favourite thing. But if we're going with something else, I really like the Naked Glory mints, the vegan mints. That is, oh guys, that is, it smells like bacon. It's good. And I like making that in chilies or spaghetti bolognese. Also, I really like using corn for curries, like a Chinese curry with rice or like a, making an Indian curry with like other madras sauce. Tikka masala doesn't sit well with me because there's a lot of cream in it. And um, what else do I have? Also, if we're going to go with takeaways, it has to be a vegetable pathia. Guys, you have not lived if you have not tried a pathia, even if like you're not a vegetable person, like try chicken pathia. Oh, pathia sauce is just the best thing you could ever try it's like a sweet but spicy oh next time you have an indian try it definitely and i have that with boiled or pilau rice and a chili naan bread and papadoms and of course mango chutney because you can't have mango chutney you can't have an indian without mango chutney or papadoms so yeah definitely try that out next time you have an indian if you like indian food like i do because i'm obsessed would you ever try to go vegan again? Okay, so I am vegetarian, guys, by the way. But I do have more vegetarian... I do have more vegan food than I do vegetarian. I say vegetarian because there's a lot of corn meals that have milk and eggs in. So anything direct, I do not eat. But indirect, I will eat. So say, like, I won't just have, like, an omelette because I don't, I don't really... I don't like the direct dairy foods. Plus, like, I can't have milk because I'm lactose intolerant. And my IBS does not like it at all. So... Yeah, I am more vegetarian than vegan, but I do have a lot of vegan food. I try and go vegan with foods more than I do vegetarian, so I just wouldn't say I'm a full vegan. So that's why I say I'm a vegetarian, because I, I don't have, you know, everything vegan. So that's why I say I'm vegetarian, but I do have a lot of vegan food. Okay, because I can't talk, do my eyebrows, I'm going to do my eyebrow, bleh, bleh, do my eyebrows and then come back to you. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and a Morphe eyebrow and spoolie brush. So I'll come back to you once I've done it. Okay, eyebrows are almost done. You know what? It's so difficult to do eyebrows. It just... You know before, when I used to do my eyebrows, I look back at my photos and I'm like, what the hell was I doing? Like, it looks like a tadpole. And now, like, I kind of grasped it. It looks a bit better, but I'm still not 100% happy with my eyebrows because I need to get them plucked. I haven't plucked them since I had them laminated in March. Yeah, so that's been 
a while but I'm like I kind of like the outgrown look and not touching them because before I literally had half of my eyebrows on my face so I don't really want to make the mistake of plucking them a lot again so I'm probably going to leave them the way that they are maybe get them laminated but I'm not sure what do you guys think do you prefer a lamination or just like getting a quick like getting them threaded or something by the way I had to put my hair in a bun because it's actually starting to annoy me I feel like this lighting is like really really bright probably better so I have like the natural light here and then a ring light in front of me how do you find so many bargains is there like an app that keeps you updated no so I just know the best places to find bargains and I know the sections in the shop where they put them just because that's always where I look because we know that I do not pay full price for anything unless it's something that I really want so let's say with food I know all the sections in Tesco and Asda and Morrison's where the food is when they reduce it I know all the sections so once you find that out you'll be good to go but if it comes to like say Primark all you have to look for also before I say that in Morrison's Asda and Tesco they always have yellow tags on for reduced things like yellow labels so look out for that and you'll find reduced things sometimes they're just on like a random shelf so just look out for that yellow reduced tags is where what you want to look for but if we're saying like Primark always look in the sales section they're like randomly scattered around the shop sometimes and you'll just look for like a red sign above the rails i'm giving away all my secrets here guys but i love you so this is what i'm doing it for so yeah look out for red reduced um like signs above the rails that's what you want to look for same with in like the beauty section just look for like red tags in primark a lot of the time they are red tags in shops on products or they do it in a red marker pen so yeah that's what you want to look out for mainly and just like don't pay full price for anything and just look for the bargains well, yeah, do. Where has been your favourite place to visit on the road trip so far? Like I said, Bath. And if you want to know more about the road trip, go and watch my vlog. You will see everything we got up to. It was so much fun. And I'll leave the blog post down below as well. It's so difficult to do my mascara. Some of my eyelashes have fallen out again. Which is really annoying. I had to literally pluck one out yesterday because it's just going to fall. You know what I mean? Like, it all clumps up together. Oh, it's just, it was bugging me. I had to pull this one eyelash hair out and it's just like they always it's always this one section like they just regrow basically and it's really annoying okay lipstick wise this is my favorite thing ever it's the wet and wild this is cruelty free as well i've got this on beauty bay mega last liquid cats what katsu high shine lipstick in the shade chic got what chic got real i'm sure that's supposed to be pronounced a different way but anyway this is like my favorite lipstick and it's so much like the charlotte tilbury live in ob shade just such a lovely colour. Let's take my hair out, get these clips off, and that is me done and ready for the day. So I hope you've enjoyed this get ready with me this morning and a little bit of a catch up and just like a chat with you. It's really nice to just like sit and chat. I haven't done this in so long, probably since like February when I did that Valentine's Day makeup video. So this has been a really nice catch up with you guys. Thank you so much for asking the questions and I hope to see you in my next video. Please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you want me to do more of these. And subscribe down below. I would love to have you back here. And we are very close to 1,000 subscribers. So I'd love to have you join the family. And of course, don't forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok and Twitter and all those good social media channels. I post a lot of creativity things and like style things all over there. And I shall see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.